Today's video we're going to be doing texturizing some swim material. This is spandex polyester, actual swim for swimwear. We're going to be using the four millimeter wide twin needle through one layer of fabric. So this is going to want to tunnel it a lot. I'm going to do the first row here at a tension of one which will be the minimum amount of tunneling. This is the setting you'd be for top stitching, like, but we're going to be upping the tension because we're going to do a, we're trying to do a texturized panel. And this is how I end a lot of my stitching. So I raise up the presser foot all the way and I use a tool and I push all the threads out to the left instead of pulling the fabric so I don't distort the final couple of stitches. We have just a tiny little bit of tunneling, which would be what you'd want normally with top stitching with a twin needle. Now we're going to up the tension all the way up to five. This will be a medium tunneling. I'm going to cut these tails off so they don't get caught underneath there and cause a thread nest. For some machines you don't have to hold the thread tails, some machines you do. Force a habit, I usually always do it and I usually just hold them down like this. Lower your presser foot. If it's troublesome, thin material, sometimes you want to do a whole stitch or two to get it started. Now you can see on this one there's quite a bit more tunneling. I'm trying to get it on the camera here. Almost none with one tension, quite a bit with five. But this is for making a textured panel. So let's go ahead and go all the way up to 8.5. My machine goes to 9, but I rarely like to go all the way up to 9 or all the way down to 0. So I'm going to go up to 8.5. Do one, two stitches. And since I'm doing, trying to get tunneling in a texturing panel, I'm leaving the stitch length at 2.5. Normally for top stitching you want to lengthen the, tops, the stitch, but I'm trying to intentionally cause tunneling. Now that's with the all the way up to 8.5 and you can see quite a bit more tunneling. Almost none with the fat one, 
a little bit with the 5, and quite a bit with the 8.5. Trying to get that so you could see it. And I want as much tunneling as possible because I'm trying to make a textured panel. Now that this showed you how to do that with contrasting thread, <clears throat> let me go ahead and show you how I'm how I do it on an actual project with black thread. This is the same fabric. <clears throat> this swimsuit material. It's a spandex polyester. And what I did is I just put in black cone thread instead of the white cone thread, both in the needle and the bobbin. Put your fabric in there and you start it like I've showed you before. Lower your presser foot and do one or two stitches and then do your stitching. Now with twin needles, it's kind of best if you don't start and stop. If you can, do the entire length at the same speed and without starting and stopping. Row one is done. I'm going to do row two. I'm just leaving the needle at the center default position and I'm lining up the left thread of the first row with the outer edge of the presser foot here. And with spandex fabric you're going to have to make sure you're going nice and straight because it will can very easily distort. Again, this is how I typically get my fabric off here, is I use a tool to push it instead of pull it, because I don't want to distort my last couple of stitches. Trimming off all the tails, because if you don't, it might get stuck under there and cause a thread nest and then the next row you're making. Put your fabric under there. Lower your presser foot. Do one or two stitches by hand. Now this is one layer of spandex polyester fabric, which is probably one of the most difficult things to twin needle. Because it does want to kip sti kip sti skip stitches and it does want to distort. And I have just a regular universal twin needle in here. If you do get skipped stitches, probably best to go with a stretch twin needle instead of a universal twin needle.
I tend to slow at a slow sew at a slower rate, so I rarely have skip stitches. And this is how you do a textured panel using a twin needle on spandex polyester fabric and it's stretchy this way and it's stretchy this way stretchy on the bias and this gives a really good look to like a pair of joggers the side panel on a pair of leggings and then you can make these either spaced out wider or closer I wouldn't go much closer because you're going to get a lot of distortion between the um, rows here. That's how you can make a textured panel on spandex fabric.